Tonight, a horrifying mystery shocking the rock music and fashion world. Legend Mick Jagger's stunning longtime lover found hanging by a scarf from a doorknob. Jagger himself halfway around the world on tour in Australia when he learned his girlfriend had suddenly died in her massive apartment in one of the coolest areas of Manhattan. Jagger's girlfriend, the famous model turned fashion designer, Lorenz Scott, reportedly sent her assistant a text at 8.30 this morning saying, come by her apartment. When the assistant got there a couple of hours later, she found Lorenz's body in the living room hanging from a doorknob by a scarf. The medical examiner has not yet determined cause of death, but cops say they did not find a suicide note. Nobody who knew this star of the fashion world saw this coming, including her rocker boyfriend, who was completely shocked and devastated by the news. Straight out to E! News correspondent Alicia Quarles. You were at Lorenz's apartment today. What is the latest? The latest is that everyone is just shocked. Nobody saw this coming. Nobody knew that she was suffering from depression. If she was, in fact, suffering, we don't know. Um, I just been getting statements in all day. Um, famed photographer Bruce Rubber, who helped discover her as a model, just sent me a statement saying he called her pretty legs and that um, he knew from the moment that he met her that she was special. But I've spoken to people that had seen her recently. Nobody saw any signs of depression or sadness, even at the scene. Investigators were coming out, and, and nobody could figure out wh why this happened. Well, I mean, a lot of people are wondering, how do you kill yourself from a doorknob when you're six foot three and a doorknob goes up to here? Have people been talking about that? People have absolutely been talking about that for the simple fact that you're right. She was six foot three. She, uh, Bruce called her pretty legs. She was known for, for those legs and that height. And the fact that, you know, nobody saw her being depressed. So the police are saying it's an apparent suicide that hasn't been 100 percent confirmed yet. Um, we know some, there's been some reports that her business was in trouble. However, she had just done pairings with Banana Republic. She owned the apartment outright. So there are more questions right now than answers. Well, this is a very fancy apartment. You could take your car, I hear, into the apartment, and it's got an, uh, an elevator that takes your car up. Do you know how many, do you know how expensive that's got to be in Manhattan? It's oh, my God. It's incredibly expensive apartment, and just being there, I know other celebrities that live there that who I won't out, you know, but it's very expensive real estate. We're hearing that she owned it outright. Um, it's in a great area, and this was just a very sad and shocking day. She was supposed to show um, at London's Fashion Week recently. She canceled it, saying that there were production uh, concerns, and all of her shows were very elaborate and over the top, so nobody questioned it when she canceled her show. Um, she just she seemed like the same happy Lorraine most people saw and knew.